Jenna Bush Hager's here helping me out while Kathy Lee takes a little more vacation time. That's right, and if you're not vacationing like Kathy Lee, <laughs> but you're at home and you're looking around thinking it's trying to change things up, we've got some inexpensive help. Yeah, here to show you how to perk up your place with just a little paint is interior designer and house beautiful contributor, Libby, Libby Langdon. <laughs> Hi, girl. Libby. Hello. How's it going? Really good, really good. Okay. Color can change a room completely. It makes you feel better. Unbelievable. Right? Paint is one of the most inexpensive and amazing ways to completely transform your room. Okay. So if it's you're tired easy. of the white walls, you say accent walls, although I'm scared of them. And yeah, don't be scared I'm of scared. an accent wall. And the trick is sometimes people don't want to paint the entire room. Mm -hmm. So you want to choose one wall that has a focal point, mm -hmm. like your sofa's on it or your bed is on it, and paint it a bold color. Wow. It's super easy. Easy. I can paint an accent wall in about two and a half hours. What? Well, that's you. And <laughs> the other thing that's great is it's only about a gallon of paint, maybe 38 bucks. Mm -hmm. And we have some photos as we're yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah. So here, you know, but you can see too, I love a rich, dark color. Looks but pretty. if you're going to do that, first make sure it's a flat finish because then it gives you that velvety right. look. Mm -hmm. But you also want to make sure you get something up on the wall. That you say that you need to hang things over you the accent wall. You have to because otherwise it's just a big dark wall but it works with different styles it could be contemporary it could be traditional so mm -hmm. oh, this is a really looks, fun okay. yeah, that's room. good yeah that's I can't good believe how much it changes the vibe it and sure the does and, and it changes it the look of the furniture that's already in there okay that's so right. that's a good quick thing the other thing is, if you're a little bit scared to tackle yes, yes. the entire too much. wall, what should we the do? inside back of a bookcase. That's what we may do. Yeah, we may do that. That's a great steps. way to that's do it. That's good, right? You can see how the accessories that really good. pop. Simple. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you want to even go less than that. <laughs> okay, less than that. <laughs> yes. So, one thing I love is stripes on a wall. Yeah. Okay. And this is fun. What, what we're so going to do, do here. you do it yourself. Yes, you can do it yourself. That is amazing. No, I don't trust myself. No. Go on. Come <laughs> you on. You could do this. Okay. The key is good painter's tape. tape. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're basically doing eight inch stripes, okay. black and white. You would do this in a smaller room, yeah. like a foyer, a powder okay. room. You wouldn't do it in a big room. A nursery, so, maybe. A yeah, decaded. exactly. Yeah. So what we've got is a line here that was drawn with a level okay. and a pencil. <laughs> and so now what we're going to do, Swimming go up. Hoda. Okay. Yeah, just put the tape oh, on that side. It. So you can see where the B is, that's going to be the black. This is going to be our black stripe. There See, you go. See, I worry like I wouldn't get it straight. I know, that's No, but that's, you use a big level, okay. and then you match the okay. line as you're okay. going down. Level. I got but it. this stuff is frog tape, and it's awesome. Okay. And so what you want to do is, when you're actually painting it, mm -hmm. the yeah. key is just remember, see how uneven mm -hmm. this looks? Yeah. It's because it's two-inch tape. Right. So okay. That's going to help you remember it what is the roll. one. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Roll. That looks therapeutic. So it is um, so awesome. That oh does. But the key to with this paint or the um, actual tape is it's got this like glue okay. adhesive stuff. Right. So when you rip it off, it looks Wait, good. And do you rip it off obviously after it's dry? After it dries. Okay. And the other thing is do not. No, not yet. <laughs> Do not judge the way okay. it looks when the tape All is right. on because it, it looks horrible. Okay, can I just try to rip it off, off to see a difference? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, you can. Yes. Well, how do is you? Is it messy? Oh, it's oh, tied right. back there. <laughs> Never mind. That was a malfunction. See, so right. the next thing is these are really fun little sample pots. You know, in the hardware store, yeah. you're nervous about yeah. color. You got to get it up yeah. on your walls. It's about three bucks and it oh, covers sixteen yeah, square we feet have of a paint. a couple seconds, so just show so, us how. Yeah, just what dunk you want to do so this is, is to paint furniture. Yeah, to paint furniture, little pieces little of accent. furniture that you have, mm -hmm. a little accent I think piece. If you peek over there at that chair, yeah. we can see what you've done so already. So take a look at this. So this is just a plain sort of cream oh, chair. Oh, that's cute. And you've so you take the boring thing out. Yeah, add put an in a cute throw pillow. Thing. And look at the awesome. That's adorable. How, How easy is that? Lady? Awesome. Thank you.